Hey everybody, this is Collected Dude again. I'm going to do another part for the uh, Marvel previews. I just did one for DC, now I'm going to do Marvel and see how much I can get through on this one. Uh, we got Dan Slot and. Let me sure turn this down a little bit. Okay, we got Dan Slot and Valerio Shidi doing Tony Stark Iron Man number seven. That's an interesting cover. I'm going through these now because I realized what um, I could have been doing a long time ago. Like when um, Batman Damned came out and a lot of the other covers that come out. I'm trying to go through these so I can make myself look through this and figure out whether some of these books are going to be worth speculating on and worth getting and uh, I haven't been getting complete collections of different things. I've been going to half price books and doing a lot of them. But um, I'm trying to see if I um, can do better speculating by showing these and seeing what you guys think when you look at them. And see whether there's something to speculate on. Whether we, it should be something we all should pick up. Or, um, nah, it's not worth it. Because I know, I, like I said, I used to collect almost every title of every from Marvel and DC for a while, I did that for six months or something like that. I had like 20 um, books or more um, each week, and I didn't get a chance to read them all. I, I got like a bunch of boxes and everything, but um, I got them because I liked them. The stories and everything, when I looked through the previews, I thought it was cool, but um, I had to cut back. So now I'm just like picking certain ones that I like. So this is Tony Stark Iron Man number seven by Dan Slott and Valerio Sheedy. He's doing the art. Uh, covered by Alexander uh, Lozano, Uncanny X-Men variant, uh, covered by, uh, to be announced, uh, Stark Realities Part 2, and Stark, Tony Stark Iron Man number 7, and Tony Stark Iron Man number 7, Uncanny X-Men variant, this is offered again, 32 pages, three ninety nine. cool cover, and see, I noticed, like on all of theirs, DC doesn't do that, that I know of, that I can see, but they got that bonus digital issue, and I, I always get it. Everything. And sometimes I'll read them on air, sometimes I just like reading the actual book. Jason Aaron and Ed McGinnis, I love Ed McGinnis' artwork. Avengers number 11. Uh-oh, love interest, Thor and uh, She-Hulk. You must like muscular women. Something like that, huge muscular women. I remember I went to a comic book convention, or not, I mean a um, bodybuilding convention one time when I was younger, and some of the women in there were huge. I could not believe it. They were beautiful, though, but they were huge. The muscles, and I couldn't believe it. It's like, wow. And they could, like, pick you up and throw you the way they looked. But uh, I don't know if they do roids, too. I, I think they must because they, for a woman to get that big, and the guys want to get huge, too. But I guess they, you do what you do. But I never got that big, but I got fairly big myself, just naturally, taking protein drinks and stuff like that and working out all the time. But to get that huge, you have to have some type of um, help. But uh, in comic books, you just have to have a, uh, somebody that draws you. So here we go. Avengers number 11. See, Jason Aaron is writing, and Ed McGinnis is doing the art and colors. Hmm. Or art and cover. Fantastic Four uh, Villains variant covered by Alan Davis and Conan vs. Marvel Heroes variant covered by Carlos Macheco or Pacheco. The Avengers World Tour comes to a shattering conclusion. Okay, it's 32 pages, 399. See, they don't show like on here like they do the DC one. The DC one lets you know what month it's coming out and what um, week it's coming out. But this they don't do that with Marvel. At least from here, what I can see. But I like the I like the artwork. Okay, we got Al Ewing and Joe Bennett doing the uh, Myrtle Hulk. I love this because Alex Ross is awesome artwork. Number 10. Look at that. You see, these are books like in that uh, new Marvel, uh, Marvelosity. They got some of these in there, but some of them they don't. They might have came out after they published the book. But this is cool. Let's see what we got here. Immortal Hulk number 10. Al Ewing and Joe Bennett. Al's doing the writing, Joe's doing the art, covered by Alex Ross. Then you got Fantastic Four variant, Villains variant, covered by Marco Jurjevic. And Conan vs. Marvel Heroes variant, covered by Enyuk Lee. 
Hopefully you read that. It's 32 pages, $3.99. Not sure when it's coming out though. Most of the stuff is for December though. So one, one a week in December. So you have to have your money saved up or go on uh, Midtown Comics and pre-order them. But then you have to pay for them as well too. Though. So but they usually don't charge your card right away. At least from my experience. So uh, it, they charge you when it comes out I think. Well, you still got to have the money on the card, I think. Something like that. What I have to look into it to make sure. But I usually do a lot of pre-ordering. So I don't miss anything. Okay. Tahanisi Coates and uh, Linnell Francis Yu. Captain America number six. Look at that. That's cool. Alex does some awesome stuff with um, colors. I mean, instead of using the blacks, he uses like the colors of like red and stuff for uh, shadows. Everything that should be black is like red. Look at that. And that looks like he ripped something or cut somebody up. So I'm thinking, okay, what's going on, Steve? Cap. Okay, you got Captain America number six to Tahani Nahisi. Coach is doing the writing. And now Francis Yu is doing the art. Cover by Alex Ross. Fantastic Four Villains variant. Cover by Marco Djurjevic. And Conan vs. Marvel Heroes variant to be announced. 32 pages, $3.99. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, um, the Champions and Weird World. Weird World. Champions, I got the, like the first 19 covers, 19 books. This was a really good book. I liked it. But I stopped collecting it. And Champions number 27. Like I said, saving money. That looks cool, though. I love fantasy type stuff. He looks cool. And so everybody got switched over the set. Might have to pick some of these books up. I saw somebody talking about this. Might have to pick it up. Jim Comics was talking about it. Champions number 27. Jim Zub, writer. Max Dunbar, artist. Cover by Sean... Isaacs, Isaacsi. Okay, France, Fantastic Four variant, Villains variant, covered by Marco Djurjevic. The Master of the Weird World, okay. 32 pages, three ninety nine. dollars Have to look into that one, I think. Okay, what we got here, Champion, okay, here's Annual Number One. That's a cool cover. Jim's up and Marco's toe, Marcus toe. Say okay, doing the art and writing. Sean Azaxi doing another cover, doing the cover and the variant cover by Barb Babstar or Babs Tar. Babs Tar. Was that one name? It looks like a little space in between there, so it might be two names. Okay, hopefully you read that. Let's see what that is. Forty pages, four ninety nine. Okay. We got here, okay, Merry X Men Holiday Special number one. Hmm. The outside fighting? They're out there playing in the snow. That's cool. A lot of different artists and writers doing this. You, know, you can pause it and read that. $4.99, 40 pages, one shot. Okay, then we go down here Avengers Prelude. Untitled Prelude Number One of Three, Will Corona Pilgrim, and pa Paco Diaz is doing the art. Pilgrim's doing the writing. Cosmic Calamity. Okay, you can pause that and read that. Three, Thirty-two pages, three ninety-nine. Hmm. Okay, here we go with Thor. Mel the Mundo's still doing the artwork on it, and Jason Aaron's writing it. Angela's in that, I see. Okay. Still have to try to get her first appearance in um, Spawn. I think it's still going for a pretty good, not a, not a bad price. I got an 8.0 or something like that for like 9, 10 bucks on mycomicshop.com. Might pick up one or two of those just to have them. I had them when I was younger. Like I said, I sold or gave away a lot of my books. Everything, or sold them too cheap just to make some quick money. But now they're going for a lot of money now. 
a lot of the 80s stuff that was popular is popular. Thor number eight, Jason Aaron, Mike DeMundo. He's doing the art and cover. And Jason's doing the writing variant cover by Carrie Andrews. Fantastic Four Villains variant cover by Marco Jurjevic. He's doing that again. Conan versus Marvel. Wow, he's doing a lot of these to be announced. And Prison of Angels here. Three ninety nine, thirty two pages. I got the West Coast Avengers, number five. Oh. I haven't been on a um, bumper car in years. Those are used to love that. West Coast Adventures, Avengers number five. Kelly Thompson writing it. Daniel D. Nicuello. Art and cover by Stefano Caselli. City of Evil Begins. Okay. 32 pages, three ninety nine. Okay. Then you got West Coast Avengers number six. Kelly Thompson and then Danielle D. Nucuello. And somebody is appearing, but they don't want to say who right now. Let's see if it says it in the, in the description down below. Covered by Stefano Caselli. You know, already got the other names Thompson and D. Nucuello. 32 pages, it's $3.99. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Hey! Are these re reprints? Spider Man Into the Spider Verse in theaters December 14th, 2018. What is this? I mean, what is this? Spider Man, Spider Gwen, Spider Gwen coming out on the 13th of November. Is that a poster? No, it looks like a book. $9.99, 6 by 9 trim size. Then we got, okay, remember this, okay, I think I saw this. It's a cartoon or something like that, or animated version of this. This is uh, Miles Morales, okay. That should be, it looks like, I don't know if it was like, kind of like a computer animated drawing thing. It wasn't like animated, like, um, uh, different colors. It looked more computer generated, like um, the things I've seen on TV or like Shrek or something like that. But coming out on the 13th, it's 6 by 9 I wonder if they're going to come out with the books like they did recently with Venom. I wonder if they're going to put books for giving away for free that you can't get anywhere else. We'll see. It looks like you can order them on here. And then you got um, the Green Goblin. Fearsome Foes. 9.99. 6 by 9 coming out on the 13th. And you got Spider-Man. Into the Spider-Verse, it's a different Spider-Man. I'm not sure which one that is. There's so many different ones. You have to read them to find out who they are. It's 9 dollars 6 by 9 coming out on the 13th as well. Okay. Okay, Into the Spider-Verse variant covers. That's cool. I like the background. The way it's painted there. Miles Morales, animation variant cover. And then you got Spider-Gwen animation variant cover. Same background. Wait, wait a minute. It's just, it looks like she's got ballerina shoes on now. Okay, what else we got here? This guy's cool. The, uh, the newer Spider-Man. But well, this says Venom, so wait a minute. Number nine, animation cover. Well, that's, isn't that uh, Spider-Man newer? Hmm. I'm behind, we'll see. And this is, um... Amazing Spider-Man. He looks like he's really low to the ground. Like they stuck him in there just to fit him in there. He looks like he's about to smack his knee. And that would hurt. The superhero landing done wrong. Ouch. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. I love this artwork. Ryan Otley, I'm glad he's doing this. I can't wait to see him. what else he's going to do. I'm not sure how many covers he's going to do. 
This is Spider-Man number 11. Took a little break just to catch up and everything. But Nick Spencer's still writing. Ryan Otley's doing the art and the cover. Fantastic Four variant cover by Gabriel Delato. Hmm. Conan versus Marvel Heroes. You know, Giuseppe Kevin Cooley. I love his artwork. I like he did Green Valley for... um. Uh, I collected all of those for uh, Image Comics. Animation variant, and now he's doing um, Darth Vader, which is awesome for Marvel. Animation variant, also available. Hmm. Yeah, we saw that before. You can read that while I'm talking, and you got uh, 32 pages, three ninety nine. Okay. That's cool. And then number 12. So I wonder if he's coming out weeks apart, like one week and then another week's coming out, like once a week. These are cool. I love his artwork. And Sleepwalker looks like that's Sleepwalker in the background there. Okay, what we got? Uh, 32 pages, $3.99. Nick Spencer's writing that one. Ryan Otley's doing that as well. Artwork, of, you know, and the cover. Fantastic Four variant cover by Addy Grenov, and that should be good. And the Conan cover with the versus Marvel Heroes is to be announced. This doesn't say anything about um, who that is in the background. It looks like Sleepwalker, but maybe it isn't. No, maybe look, he's got maybe it's um, some pestis, pestilence or pestis. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, and these are funny all the time. Deadpool and Spider Man. Okay, number 43, Jim Toe is doing the art, Robbie Thompson is doing the writing, Jave Johnson did the cover. They're on a road trip, okay, 32 pages, 399. That's funny. Okay, Danny Cates and Donny Cates, Ryan Stegman, love Stegman's artwork, like when he did the Wolverine books, when he did the first Wolverine stuff. Venom number 9. That's cool. What's he a dog now? Looks like looks like a bulldog or something. What is he doing here? Number nine. Okay, smash it. Summer continuing. Venom no more. Hmm. Thirty-two pages, three ninety-nine. Thirtieth anniversary. It's been that long. Wow. So that's what that's coming out as. Okay, Black Panther versus Deadpool. That looks cool. Is that Jack O' Lantern? That's a variant cover. Would that be something to collect? You, you wonder, like, sometimes the original cover is okay. It's better than the variant. Depends. See, the variant cover is by Oscar Yilderman. Or Yilder, yeah, really, Yilderman. Okay, uh, three of five. Daniel Kibblesmith is doing the writing. Richard Ricardo Lopez Ortiz is doing the art. Ryan Benjamin, I love his stuff. I liked when he was doing work for Image years ago. Rain Burrito. You want to cover him? Variant cover by Oscar Yildrum. Over there on the side there. I just looked at that one. Okay, Parental Advisory. Oh boy, 32 pages. I wonder what they're going to be showing in this. Black Panther versus Deadpool. Okay, then we got Ironheart. Riri Williams. Eve Ewing, and uh, you're going to be doing a writing. And Kevin Labranda is going to be doing the uh, artwork. That's how it goes with the first name writer. Yep. Covered by Amy Reader. Okay, let's see. I need to read that. 32 pages. Um, $3.99. Okay. What else we got? Oh, I've been liking these. This is, is this Greg Smallwood. Yeah, he's been doing the covers. He's been making them look like Dolph Lundgren. I'd love to meet Dolph Lundgren and get him to sign these. What how hard that would be. If you could find his and mail them to him or something like that. He'd be, whatever, if he would charge something. But do they do any, like, conventions? Like these guys from um, the different movies that um, Stallone put out and everything. With all these guys. And I forget, it's off the tip of my tongue right now. But um, uh, have all those guys in them. All the action dudes. And then Punisher number five, M Matthew Rosenberg writing it, and Seisman, 
Seisman Hudronsky doing the art. Greg Smallwood's doing the cover. And the villains one, Mar uh, Marco Derjevic is doing it. Hidden Jim, Mike Zek, that'd be nice. Black and white Hidden Jim, hey, Mike Zek, that'll be more money. Okay, parental advisory, of course, Punisher. Okay. Tana Hesey's Coats is doing the writing. Kev Walker is doing the um, art. Black Panther number six. That's kind of cool. I wonder what that is. Vibranium. Yeah, he looks interesting. Black Panther number seven. Did I say six? Okay, I don't know. Tana Hesey, yeah, we said that already. Okay, covered by Paulo. Paolo Rivera and Daniel Acuna. Cunha. And Marco's back, Dirjevic with a Fantastic Four variant. He's doing a lot of variants on it. I know they're not going to just have the same one. Conan versus uh, Marvel Heroes to be announced again. Kev Walker's doing the variant. And um, hopefully, reading that. 399, 32 pages. Okay. Old Man Hawkeye, now we're going to some trades here. Excellent, compelling, the art is great. So which one is this gonna be? Old Man Volume One, Old Man Hawkeye Volume One, I for an eye trade paperback, on sale now. $17.99. That Old Man Wolverine right there. And he's Old Man, um, multi, multiple man. I like how they're doing old man, uh, or old woman, uh, Harley coming out. So beyond sight, old man Hawkeye, number 12. Cool cover. Who, who just stabbed him? Is that Bullseye? Let's see the head. Yep, that's Bullseye. Let's see. Young Guns is doing the art. Is that going to be a Young Gun? Marco Cicchetto. Ch Francesco Mobili. Ethan Sox is writing it. George Vick's back for the Fantastic Four variant. Parental advisory on this one, too. 32 pages. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Squirrel Girl. I never got any of these. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl number 39. So not even number one. I'm not sure if it's worth anything or not, but interesting character. Funny, she's going to come out with a movie soon. Ryan North is doing the writing. Derek Charm is doing the art. Erica Henderson is doing the cover. 32 pages, $3.99. Rated Teen Plus. I'm not sure what they're going to be doing in it. Okay, now we got Mar Ms. Marvel. I had the first um, series of this. And I think I started the second one but, you know, of this one here. I think this is volume two or three. I started this and I stopped like after 20 issues or something. I stopped like after all of them, like on the Wolverine and stuff like that. And uh, um, X-Men, Astonishing X-Men and stuff like that. This is G. Willow Wilson's doing the write, writing and Nico Leon doing the art. Valerio Shiti is doing the cover and a variant cover by Jamie McKelvey. 32 pages, rated T for teen plus, $3.99. Who's got the black fingernails? Is that her? Yeah, she you know, the one, always has the one hand real big. Okay. Unstoppable Wasp, I don't think I got any of these, not even number one. I wasn't sure. So, i like to get the new movie coming out, Ant-Man and Wasp. This is, a, this is number three. Looks like AIM, she just smacks his glasses. Did she hit it with a shock thing or what? Or somebody else did it and she's moving out of the way. We'll see. Jeremy Whitley is doing the writing. Jurahiri is doing the art. And Stacy Lee is doing the cover. 32 pages, $3.99. I'm back up so you can read that and pause it. All right. See what we got, see what we got next. I had collected the first 20 issues of this too. This is really cute. Moon, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Thought it was good. 
Oh, he's blowing a boogie. Okay, all new story arc. Okay. Brandon Montclair, writer Natasha Bustos. He's doing the art. 32 pages. Ready T for Teen, $3.99. Then we got Runaways. I like the first series of these yet back in the 90s. This was really good. I like the, the hardbound versions of them. I had some of the issues. I don't have them anymore. It's part of the stuff that I've sold. Rainbow Rowell and Chris Anka. Runaways number 16. 32 pages, $3.99. This is Christmas special, so it's coming out probably a week before Christmas or somewhere around there. Doctor Strange, number nine. Mark Wade's writing it. Mm, Jesus is says. I like when he does that, when they do that. The movie made it, made that cool. Cool costume. So we got Mark Wade and we're saying The Doctor's in Fantastic Four variants by Marco Dirjevic is back again. 32 pages, $3.99. I'm going to pause that so you can read it. Okay. Ashiri. Ashiri. Needle Okaf Okaf Okarafor and Leonardo Romero. Ashiri number three. Okay. Rocket and Groot. Somebody's in control. Cool costume. Okay, there's variant covers by Sam Spratt. Oka 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 is doing the writing and uh, Romero's doing the art. I'll pull that back so you can read that. Thirty-two pages, three ninety-nine. That's a cool cover. Who's doing that? Cal Fam. That's cool. Real simple. That's cool though. I like that. I'd like to see a poster like that. First time in print, Iron Fist. What's this? Let's see now. They got the dates for these these trades now. 2019 next year from January. 30, 136 pages. 1999. Okay. Um, Clay MacLeod Chapman's doing the writing, penciled by Guillermo Guillermo uh, Sana and Cal Fim or Cole Fim. Co-fam is doing the uh, cover. That's cool, though. Kind of like the way they did the uh, new ad for the um, Netflix series of uh, Iron Fist. He's got the yellow mask on, so I'm not sure if he's going to be doing that and, um, in the show or not. That'd be cool. As Guardians Under Arrest. As Guardians of, of the Galaxy, number four. Del Kion artwork. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I like to meet. Never met him. I like to meet him. Oh, look at that. Okay, what we got here? Colin Bunn doing the writing. Mario Lally, Natasha Bustos doing the um, art. Dale Cohen and Jason Keith doing the cover. Thirty-two pages, three ninety-nine. Okay, what we got here? Um, the Black Order. I was wondering whether this is going to be any good. This is supposed to be a spinoff from. Um, Infinity War. So, will this be something, guys and gals? We'll see. Interesting cover. Philip Tan. He's doing the art and the cover. Variant by John Tyler Christopher. 32 pages, three ninety nine. Let me see what... I'll put this out so you can read this. What do you think about this cover? You think it's going to be good? And since it's only five issues, that might be interesting. I got the first issue of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's Dale Keown did the artwork. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start try to read that and see if I'm going to get the rest of them. Iceman number four. I wasn't sure about this either. He looks cool. Pretty evil looking. And is a new Iceman? He looks like a different ethnicity and everything. Not Caucasian. We'll see. Cena Grace is doing the writing. Nathan Stockman's doing the art. Thirty-two pages. Another cover by a cover by W. Scott Forbes. Three ninety-nine. Okay. Return of Wolverine. And this guy, man, Steve McNibbin. Love his artwork. I 
I still have to, find, I have to read the book, so I wonder where, where he got his uh, energy blades at. Or fire blades or whatever. Charles Soule writing it. Declan Shelby is doing the art. Steve McDivin's doing the uh, cover. Variant covers by Declan Shelby. Wills Patacio. He's good. Patacio. Patacio. Chris Stevens doing another one. Three ninety nine. Parental advisory. Three ninety nine. Thirty two pages. Okay. X twenty three. I got the first couple issues of that. This was good. I like that. I liked all new Wolverine as well. So I hear that. Um, uh, Honey Badger and her are really good together, so I have to get those. We are the Killer Machines, X-23 and number 7. I got like an unknown comics variant of that. It was awesome. Same thing with Captain America and um, Ghost Rider. Cosmic Ghost Rider was good. Both the variants from unknown comics. Mariko Tamaki writing it. Diago um, Orla Tegu is the artist. Ashley Witter is doing the cover and the um, variant is to be announced. All new story arc, okay. 32 pages, 399. Now what we got here, Old Man Logan, Death Pays All Debts. Slice somebody's face off or mask off their face. No, I mean Dead Man Logan, not Old Man Logan. Number two of 12, 12 issues. 399, 32 pages. Okay, we'll read that. Ed Brisson, writer, Mike Henderson, artist, covered by Declan Shelby and variant covered by Dave Johnson. That looks like um, Mysterio. I said I recognize that the eye thing there. Because that looks like um, a white mask like on um, Deadshot from the movie. So I, I, I didn't recognize it. It didn't look like glass. So, okay. I guess that's an old Mysterio. That's a cool cover. That might be one to get. Who did that? David Nakayama. That's really nice. It's kind of like reminiscent of the Wolverine cover with um, Kitty Pride on there when he's Days of Future Past. But she's holding it in her hand like on an iPad or something. Or some type of tablet, not necessarily iPad. That might be an interesting cover to get. Exiles number 11. I usually don't collect that. Saladin Hamad. Hermed, writer, and Javier Rodriguez, artist, and David Nakayama is doing the cover. 32 pages, 399. What do you think of that one? Looks interesting. Cool. What's this one here? Shadowstar number three. I got the first issue of that. I hope that's good. Because if it is, I'll keep getting it. That's cool. Skeletal things kind of reminds me of, of um, the Atomic Man and uh, the Batman animated show where the guy um or batman beyond animated show where he got chemicals on him and he was green like that if you know what i'm talking about that's cool kind of looks like travis cherish but i don't think that's him yasmin putri cover Roto sandoval okay 32 pages 399 Let's see, okay, and this one, Get Naughty, Deadpool number seven. What's he going to do, slice his, Santa's head off or something? Cool colors. That's funny, though. Okay, here we go. Oh, what's, Santa looks, looks, he's just smiling. Okay, what well, we got, uh, Scotty Young is doing the writing, Nick Klein is doing the art and the cover. Marquis David is doing the Fantastic Four Villains variant. And Mark Lamming is doing the Conan versus Marvel Heroes variant. And other variants to be announced. Okay, 32 pages. Three, parental advisory. Huh. The best Christmas story since Die Hard. You heard us. So that might be something to get, guys. You Sometimes you read these and everything. Is there, oh, that might be a hint. Maybe I'll try that. And the cover looks nice. So that might be something to get. You never know. Sometimes, like, it seems like the Deadpool books, the first appearance of him with Rob Liefeld and everything seems to be worth something. But some of the other ones don't seem to be, like, going for much. Because it's just so much, I guess. Maybe that's why. 
Some of them are, I think, but um, not all of them are going for really a lot of money, unless it's a variant cover or something that's cool. But uh, Weapon X number 27, Greg Peck, Pack and Fred Van Lenti is doing the writing. Luca Cesare is doing the artist, doing the artwork, and Raza is doing the cover. So, uh, 32 pages, $3.99. That's cool. Uh oh. You get ripped in half somehow? I'm not sure who that is. Is she phased him or something like that and tore him in half or what? I'm not sure. If you know, you can say something in the comments. Weapon X or Weapon H number 11. Excuse me. Well, whose artwork? That looks familiar. Oh, Gooey. 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 Villanova, artist. Philip Tan's doing the uh, cover with Romolo Fajardo, Jr. So let's see if there's a name in there. Let's see who that is because there's so many different names. Like it doesn't say who. Can't tell who that is. Maybe it's um, uh, Philip Tan and Romo, er, Romulo. So that's what it is. Fajardo, Jr. So when I said it was, it's $3.99. 32 pages and this one's uh stay low and keep firing domino number nine that's cool who's been collecting this one i got the first couple of issues everything but then i stopped i don't know if it's any good or not is greg horn still doing the artwork david baldion he's, he was doing the covers i think gail simone writer gang huke huke lum lim He's doing a cover, so um, I'll put that here. It's, uh, 32 pages, print the revisory, $3.99. Looks like she's at a casino or something. Trying out her luck. Okay, I'm going to stop after this page here. X-Men number red, number 11. I like the covers on this. Is this Jenny Frazone? She does the um, Wonder Woman covers. She's really good. Got a nice touch to them. Nice colors and everything. Poses. X Men Red. Tom Taylor is doing the writing. Rouge. Rouge Antonio is doing the art. Covered by Jennifer. And yeah, thirty-two pages, three ninety-nine. Oh, um, one of the guys, Comic Vantage. I think he said he's collecting everything. He likes all the. Uh, all the X-Men titles coming out right now. Mr. and Mrs. Uh, X, number six. Frank Cho or no, Terry Dodson covers. Okay. Kind of look similar. So. Mr. and Mrs. X, number six. Kelly Thompson is doing the writing. David Lopez is doing the art. Covered by Terry Dodson. Oops, sorry. Uh, let's see. We'll read that in 32 pages, three ninety nine. Okay, that's it for now, guys. Um, hopefully you like this, and um, let me know what you guys are getting. Um, comment, su subscribe, tell me what covers you think might be worth something, what about good speculation on them and everything, and um, I will talk to you later. Collect the dude out.